Day. Um, Other than Christmas music, we haven't heard Kelly Clarkson say that in a very long time. Somebody said it was like six years, and I think that's not, that can't be true. Well, if we're just looking at the numerical year, yeah, it's been six years, Kelly. If you want to split hairs, it's been five years, seven months since she released Love So Soft as the first single off her Meaning of Life album and also released Move You on the same day, September 7th, 2017. Maybe? Okay, it's been a minute. Like the kickoff of Meaning of Life, to launch her upcoming album Chemistry, Kelly has dropped two tracks, Me and Mine. I will say this is the first project I was just like, I'm really cool with any song being released, like whichever one, so I, I kind of let Atlantic pick. And they did. So let's start with the pick that is being sent to Hot AC Radio, Mine. Like you did mine. I don't think I've ever recorded anything like mine in my life. So, and I, I've never written how I wrote that song. Like it was, it's very different how that came out. I think the closest song might be Maybe. That would be a track from Kelly's 2007 album, Mine December. If you'll trust me, love me, let me, maybe. Like it was just kind of a stream of consciousness. Since Kelly has said that her divorce was the, I was going to say inspiration, but that seems like too positive of a word. Um, her divorce uh, is what caused chemistry to happen. Yeah, that kind of works. Fans have speculated that the album will parallel the heartbreaking angst of My December. It's different sonically from My December, but it's very similar in the sense that it's just very raw and very me. But the 40-year-old me that recorded chemistry, and I know she really recorded these songs when she was like 38, but go with me here, is not the 24-year-old me who recorded My December. I had never been in love. Like, I'd never thought, oh, I'm gonna end up on a porch with this dude. Like, and we're gonna rock away the life together. And I didn't never know that. I can't believe I let you in. I can't believe I stay. You know, I'm 40, so hopefully I've lived a little to, <laughs> to, to, you know, know a little bit more. Go ahead and break my heart. Those gang vocals, that's how I was feeling emotionally. Like, and I needed it. I was like, I wanna do a ton of, you know, Voices I want to sound like I haven't really sounded before. But she was hoping to sound like one of her favorite artists. My nod to Green Day. I'm a huge Green Day fan. You're a Just kind of that big, huge chorus. Straight tone singing. That straight tone delivers the lyric. Turn on sunshine of the spotless mind. Yes, I got that line because of that movie. That movie would be the 2004 classic starring Jim Carrey and in the performance that should have won her, her Oscar, Kate Winslet, in Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, Kate's character undergoes a procedure to have her ex erased from her memory. My name is Clementine Krasinski. I'm here to erase Joel Barish. What is this? Unfortunately, yeah, it doesn't exist. I asked. <laughs> Focus Features, who released that film, tweeted today, we see and hear you, Kelly Clarkson. You <laughs> just can't get that erased, so. Uh, but you don't want to, because you want to remember the good times too. But anyway, I learned that in therapy. <laughs> what Kelly could do was change the structure of mine mid-song. I wanted to change the tempo. The tempo switch reminded me of Billie Eilish's Happier Than Ever. You call me again. Which Kelly covered on her talk show in September 2021. to rush a little bit more and I want it to feel a little bit more like just frustrated mm -hmm. it wasn't even angry just frustrated is what I was feeling so yeah that was a very very sad time well, hearing about Kelly's sad times is the present for us those times thank goodness are in the past for Kelly really glad once again I'm not there so <laughs> while it is me it's just I'm in a very different place now so it's Really love being on the other side. Can't express that enough. And I can't express enough, Kelly, and I think I speak for most fans when I say this, that we didn't want you to go through the heartbreak that you went through, but we are really loving the music that came out of it. <laughs> now, as incredible as they are, neither mine or me has a typical pop sound. Like, if you think of Kelly's first singles off all her albums, so we have Miss Independent, Breakaway, Never Again, My Life Would Suck Without You, Mr. Know-It-All, Heartbeat Song, and Love So Soft, all of those were more radio friendly than mine. But at the same time, Happier Than Ever peaked at number 11 on the Billboard Hot 100. So we'll see what happens with mine. Now those thoughts on the song are mine. What are yours? 